How's it going guys? I'm Jack and welcome back to Mega Aquarium. We are on the second level of Freshwater Frenzy. If you want to go and check out my channel, we've got a full playthrough of the first level, but now we're on to Paskovka. An exciting breeding project awaits. If you do enjoy city building, simulation and management games, be sure to subscribe and also hit the like button as it really does help out. So this is a little bit different this one. Uh, we've got um, no way to earn ecology, science or prestige at the start because this is like a research lab however we do get 500 quid a day which I don't know is that enough for anything I don't I don't know we'll see won't we um, also introduces acid and pH into the tanks which is a new thing in the uh, freshwater expansion we have to the third well the first objective has to we have to build a habitat for an animal that requires acidic water the Amazonian angelfish now it says it works a bit like temperature and there's a few things we can do uh, so we can add acidic sources, passive sources such as bogwood, and then you've got uh, like the RO machine as well. So, uh, and then but the RO machines require maintenance. Uh, so we're just going to whack some stuff down and well, see if see what happens, right? Uh, so yeah, we don't have to really worry about layouts or anything because it's a research facility. But I'm I'm sure we'll like um, open it to guests at some point. So. Build a freshwater tank with the Amazonian angelfish sufficient acid and all requirements met. So I'm just going to do like a, I'm just going to go for like a basic tank again. Actually, what are they? Yeah, actually, because we, we haven't got that like that much money, so we're not getting that much money. We'll build a tank here, just a just a cheapo one. Uh, let's put the Amazonian angelfish. So we've got it paused yet. Yeah. So right here we go. So we've got acid water. Bogwood, plants, temperature, loads of stuff to get to get in this tank. It may be a bit small actually. We'll go with it, we'll go with it though. <laughs> so let's have a look what we've got. We've got the RO machine. Um, but first of all, let's let's start with this, alright. So freshwater stuff. Uh, this gives three to Bogwood, this uh, Java fern. Let's put that in, that's pretty good. That looks well good as well. <laughs> and it adds to acidity as well, which is good. Uh, what else do we need? We need do need some more acidic stuff. So, is there anything else here? We've got more bog, uh, bogwood. Or do we just go straight for... Well, that adds five to it. So, that would actually be sufficient, wouldn't it? Yeah, there we go. So, we've got the acidic... Uh, the acidity... Ad acidity? No, it's not acidity. <laughs> the acidity. That's it. <laughs> I can't... So I literally can't... I'm terrible at talking about stuff like this. Um, right, let's get some filtration and well that's filtration done and now we need temperature so we'll put a we'll put a power heater on it actually we don't need a power heater and in fact a basic heater will be enough to get that up to 18 so here we go breeding oh we're up to breeding as well good work you've passed the test by creating the perfect acidic environment for the angel fist you've demonstrated that you have the attention to detail and scientific approach required for the next task uh, the real reason, their breeding program. Next challenge is to success successfully breed a convict cichlid in the aquarium. Uh, the process varies for every species and can be quite involved with many steps. Consult your objectives for details and notify the owners when you have done it. Okay. So, check conv convict cichlid a breeding requirements. So, let's go into here. Convict cichlid is here. Does it say requires neutral water? Here we go. Breeder. When fully grown and all care requirements are met, this animal has a chance of creating offspring with another animal. For this species, breeding consists of the following steps. Find a suitable mate. Breed in a suitable location. Flat surface. Fry will eat bloodworm. Fry will neither cave. Okay. So, let's get another tank down. I'm wondering, should we just do a lagoon tank? Or do we do... Hmm. I'm going to do like another basic tank actually. Make it a little bit bigger. Or if, if we're only going to have uh, convict cichlids in there. Or, hang on. We've got some cichlids over here, don't we? Um, all requirements are met. Found a mate. Yeah, here we go. Right. So we don't need we don't need to make a new tank. That's fantastic. We've got some, we've got some cichlids already. Uh, we just need to put some... Uh, uh, well, we need a, a rock thing in there. A shelter for the fry, don't we? So let's whack that down. Um, I'm going to play it as well. 
they should well we have to wait until they're fully grown right um I don't, also i don't know if it says if they're, like if they're male or female here we go that's a breeder that's a breeder yeah they're all they're all breeders they're uh they're all looking for a mate as well three potential mates 42 percent of chance okay so i feel like we just have to wait we just have to wait it out come on guys mate <laughs> oh one did mate or oh, they found the mate they now have to deposit the eggs convict cichlids like to deposit their eggs on a flat sur surface you need to add one okay we need to add a flat surface into the tank so a flat slate sounds good right let's whack that down so they can lay their eggs on that again let's run it forward we're getting 500 quid a day which is good luckily we're not actually spending that much money on it at the moment who knows what's going to happen in the future though in this level not me not me <laughs> so uh, we've got a lot of well we've got a lot of um heating going on that haven't we and that that's a that's like a bigger pump that can supply two two tanks of stuff which is absolutely fantastic uh, have they de deposited eggs yet no they haven't um hover over breeding breed icon to see the chance of breeding each day we can add oh we can add more right let's add some more to increase the chance of them breeding so that's a flat surface plus two. Is there any others? No, I think that's literally just the only one we have. All of you can be, <laughs> all of you can be uh, flat surfaces there. Uh, it said we can see the chance of them laying eggs in it. Well, did it? No, hang on. You can increase the chance by adding more flat surfaces Hover over breed breeder icon to see the chance of them breeding each day. Okay, so that one hasn't got a mate. This one has got a mate, yeah. Looking for a flat surface to breed. There are eight free surfaces given a 69 ch chance of breeding today. How appropriate. 69% chance of breeding. <laughs> oh dear. How appropriate. Okay, let's run it. Just run it forward and see if they can actually breed. Come on, guys. You can do it. Do it for the better of your species. Uh, eggs have hatched. Now we have to wait for the eggs to hatch. Oh, look. The eggs are there, but they're not on a flat surface. <laughs> I thought they were going to appear on one of these slates, but no, they're literally just down there. Um, right. After a few days, the eggs will hatch into a fry. In the meantime, you must do everything to protect the eggs. Select the eggs to take a look at their care. Here we go. Right. So, flat surface done. Species has a base a daily survival rate of 70% and 16 babies remained predation reduced survival rate for each predator present if a parent is present and protect them for seven percent for the first seven percent four predators are oh god okay right four predators are present so let's sort this out because we want them to survive don't we so i'm going to move well I'll move these cichlids. I wonder if they can go in this tank with this angelfish. It's a bully. What's the, an what's the angelfish? The angelfish should be fine, right? We are going to need more filtration on it. Oh, are we? No, we should be fine with filtration. Yeah, let's move those into there. Oh, no, we can't because they're acidic. Okay. No, there's too much acidity in there. Uh, yeah okay right so we can't do that of course we can't do that uh, let's get another basic tank down and we'll move the fish into this one sorry about that guys I didn't mean to put you in an acid bath <laughs> man fish like fish put a lot of trust in the owners don't they um, right that's up to the amount I think at the end of the day 70% of babies will survive Okay, well, let's just sort this tank out first though. So we'll get a, um, will a power combi do it? Yes it will, I think maybe a power combi would do it on this one as well, but we'll leave it for now, we'll leave it for now. Uh, so that's all looking okay at the moment. It said it's got two more predators. 
Uh, yeah, two predators of prison, which I'm guessing are going to be the other convict cichlids. However, which ones are they? Is it like... Here we go. That's looking for a mate. So this one, I'm going to assume is not the parent. Put that over there. What's this one? At least one can care... Oh, hang on. Oh, no, because they got... A... All right, okay. Let's move it back. I don't think it's a big issue. Oh, no. What have I done? What have I done? Let's quickly pause the game. <laughs> messing up, messing up all these fish. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. How do I... Add a tank. There we go. Uh, so, right. Let's get that cichlid back in here. It says it needs to be... Um, in a group of four. So it's all okay at the moment. All right. I guess that's, that's all we can do. Move those two out. And that's... Yeah, that's all we can do, I think. The babies have moved into... Oh, hang on. There's like babies over here as well. Oh, there's two lots of babies. Oh, okay. 70% <laughs> chance. That's so de like bleak, isn't it? 70, 70, like 30% of babies are guaranteed to die. Uh, right, let's just wait from the hatch, I guess. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I, well, I'm not ending the video, guys. I'm literally, I was going to, I said that like I was ending the video. Um, okay, um, if you got this far into the video, thank you so much for sticking around. Uh, just to let you know, I do live stream on Twitch occasionally. So if you want to go check out my Twitch channel and come chat to me live, the link to my, dis uh, link to my Twitch channel is down below in the description, of course. Uh, what are we doing now? The eggs, we're just waiting for the eggs to hatch, aren't we? What does it what does it say about them? Seven babies remain there. Does it take like a couple of days for them to Yeah, it says that if after a few days the eggs will hatch. Uh yeah, that's all we that's all we can do, isn't it? Oh, here we go. The eggs have hatched. Uh so there we go, little, little baby fry, little baby cichlids, amazing amazing. After a few days, a fry will grow into adults just like eggs. You must do everything you can do to maximize their survival rate. The convict spawn. Right, we've got... Uh, so you're going to take three days to to open. Uh, to open, to grow up. The water quality is okay. Uh, cave lover is done. 70% of babies. Okay, so you can add... Stuff gets added to it if you have things however it's still only 70% survival rate which is not great right uh, let's run it forward a little bit more then I'm guessing three days well obviously three days and it should be should be done right there's no point spending any other money uh, because we don't actually not making money much money at all uh, what's happened here as well uh, conflict sickly uh, bread oh that was it tin foil barb has grown yeah, they've all grown convict and uh, they've bred and yeah okay I think the other lot of yeah the other lot of um, stuff eggs stuff eggs <laughs> they grew uh, they, they hatched didn't they so that's good so in a couple of days these should be these should be bred right uh, no they've already oh guys I, I literally am talking absolutely rubbish I'm not gonna lie Talking absolute rubbish. In fact, it's because I haven't had my coffee this morning. I've got to drink my coffee. Try not to uh, make any weird slurping noises down the microphone while I do that. Um, let's have a let's have a think about this. We just have to we just have to have to get on with it, don't we? Four babies remain. One has died. R.I.P. It's, it's literally heartbreaking. So, I have a I have a fish tank, guys. Going behind the curtain, I have a freshwater fish tank. I've got um, um, I've got a, a beta, a male beta. Um, oh, here we go. We've done it. Is that a flipper flapper of tiny fins? I hear it is. It is. Well done, breeding animal cap captivity is truly impressive accomplishment. Bunnies don't want to rest on your laurels. Inspired by your achievement, they increase your daily grant by 500. They curiously or other fresh animal waters, fresh water animals 
can be bred in captivity. Fantastic. It looks like we're opening, opening the uh, thing. I'll finish my story about the fish tank in a sec. Uh, in order to complete your final objective, you need ecology. Points to uh, unlock new animals. The only way to generate is to open a research lab to the public. The owners look, took some convincing, but back to your students far. Um, if you notice, it's still a research facility. You earn no revenue from guests. There's not an entertainment venue. You earn no prestige. On the other side, you're immune to negative prestige, which is good. Guests will not expect to provide food and drink. However, they may get tired or need to use a toilet. Remember, your goal is to generate ecology and science points to unlock the necessary animals and equipment for your work. Okay, cool. This is what I like. <laughs> Focus on the fish, guys. Focus on the fish. Uh, so let's open. Uh, let's open the actual aquarium. So it doesn't really do anything to us. Um, right, so got to breed them all. Here we go. The final objective is to breed a selection of different animals here in the aquarium. First, you need to unlock the ecology points, then build a suitable habitat for them, and uh, notice some will require acidic conditions. Finally, you must ensure their additional breeding requirements are met. Remember, you can get extra breeding information about. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, so we go. It says, look at the. Uh, Thingy, if you're looking to generate ecology fast, give ecology posters a go. Nice. Yeah, let's do that. Definitely. So it looks like we're going to do... Uh, we need to do the Cardinal Tetra, the Congo Tetra, Blind Cave Tetra, which are already unlocked, and the that one as well, which... You've, oh, what do we have to unlock them here? Oh, we have to unlock them again. Okay. So I guess we'll start at the start, right? Red Striped earth eater um so yeah my fish tank i've got two uh, i've got no i've got one beta i've got four cherry barbs oh we're we gonna do here sneakers dispenser i guess that sneakers accessory increases equipped staff members fitness nice also a bridge tank i think we're not gonna we, we're gonna do sneakers all right um yeah i've got a, a beta two four cherry barbs seven no six neon check Six Neon Tetras and five Zebra Danios and I've lost a few of them because obviously I've been learning how to keep fish but it's literally heartbreaking one when one passes away and I bury him in the garden I put a little rock on top of it just to signify fish has fish has lived its best life the best life it could <laughs> anyway let's get on with this uh, right let's see um, I guess we just do like another tank like a tank each that's gonna be the easiest, right? To get, to get um, um, you know, a new accessory. This is gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be the easiest to get the um, uh, breeding going. If we, if they all have their own like tank, like that, their own species has their own tank, because then you don't have to worry about, um, you don't have to worry about any of the other fish in there eating the fry I guess that's how to do it right first of all let's do this so we only need to unlock the ecology poster earn enough science um, I'm gonna move to that so we can do that uh, so that's good poster is attached to the tank and then we need to yeah we need to do that so that's gonna be good we can have like an ecology poster at each tank that would be good wouldn't it So let's quickly run it forward. We're just earning science. In fact, what other fish have we got? Tinfoil barbs, we've already got some. Cichlids, we've got some as well. Um, Rose Bozeman's rainbow, we've got. I feel like we we just have to wait it out. Oh, what's this? Hybrid, it's possible to breed hybrids of the species that vary in pattern. Oh, nice. Pattern mutations will occur at random, but the increased frequency when the parents have different patterns nice that's that's really cool that's a cool addition uh, what's going to give us more science actually Midas cichlids um, can we fit like another couple in there because I feel like or oh hang on maybe we can get another angel fish in there yeah let's put like four in there Oh, and we need to put another, well, we'll put one of those in. That should be sufficient plant plantation. 
That's going to bring in more science. So much more science. All good. We've nearly unlocked this fish as well. That's... Has that got... No, that hasn't got any science points on it. So that's not really going to help us. We need a lot of science for that. <laughs> we need a lot, a lot of science for that. These cichlids as well. I'm thinking, do we put some more in this tank? Oh, we've, we've unlocked that, which is good. Uh, let's do the blind cave tetra next. It's going to be the easiest one. So let's get these these guys breeding and see how well see what see if we can actually do it right. So put two of those in. It's going to need some bogwood, some caves. Uh, so the rocky overhang classic. I don't know if this tank's going to be big enough. We'll make it work though. We'll make it work. <laughs> so. Uh, I like this Java fern thing. I think that's pretty cool. Does need a little be be a little bit more acidic, or does it? No, I think it's I think it's fine for acidity. Uh, temperature and filtration now. So we'll just get a power combi, right? That is absolutely well. It's overkill, but it's fine. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, so we've got one fish in there at the moment. It says two or more. So if we put maybe, well, three, actually no, we'll only, we'll only do, oh hang on, we've got four in there apparently, okay, right, we've, got, we've got two in, we've got, oh, cancel, we've got two in there, and we need to try and get in the breed, animal can only breed when it's fully... Uh, fully grown needs five or more different decorations. Oh no! Okay, this is not going to right. We need to get a bigger tank for this. Uh, so let's um, expand the old aquarium. We'll expand down this way. We're guaranteed like a thousand a day, which is good. I'm going to sell. I'm actually going to sell that. Uh, so yeah, let's get a lagoon tank. Again, I feel like the research, uh, like a research center wouldn't have all these fancy tanks and stuff. They'd just have bog standard, uh, bog standard tanks like this. So let's get a large heater. And we'll put a, a, like a large filter on it as well. Uh, let's get some of these in. We'll can put like... Let's put four in then. That may increase chances of breeding. I, I'm not sure. Oh, no. Wrong button. So we need uh, bogwood. Again, we're doing this all again. <laughs> so caves. It needs... F so that's one decoration. It needs five different decorations, doesn't it? So bogwood, that's two. Some more bogwood would be three. We'll write that down there. Um, and then we'll put some of those corkscrew valis. Yeah, that's four. And uh, let's do the Amazon sword over here. So I think that's I think that's it, right? I think that's it. So yeah, these guys are absolutely fantastic. Just waiting for them to grow up. So they'll grow up in like five days, which is decent. Breeding like rabbits. If you have enough of a particular species, you can stop them breeding by removing at least one of their breeding requirements. The approach will depend on the species. For some, you can remove their breeding location. For others, you may need to divide or reduce the size of the group. Uh, remove, uh, removing an animal's breeding requirements won't do any harm. It just curb their enthusiasm for breeding. Fantastic. So it's all looking decent at the moment. Yep, yeah, it's got it's got all the requirements. It requires acidic or neutral water, so that's good. Um, so we can actually put we can actually put the uh, angelfish in here as well. I, I say that I don't know if that's a. Yeah, no, we could actually because it doesn't eat any of the append appendages appendices. 
Appended? I don't know. <laughs> the fins. <laughs> oh, we've unlocked the blind cave tetra as well. Fantastic. Uh, so the next one, we'll do the Congo tetra next. You just unlocked your first egg scatterer. Egg scatterers form breeding groups and scatter their eggs simultaneously. Oh, okay. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> Uh, so we're gonna have to like do all of like the different the different types of breeding here We're still on our way mate like unlocking this ecology poster um, What else do we need the ecology poster I feel like is gonna really like kickstart our research thing uh, So yeah, let's get down some more tanks for Well, let's have a look at the um the blind cave tetra, right? Uh, it needs to be in three or more, and it's a bully, and it's a nibbler as well. So we'll have these in their own tank. Uh, yeah, we'll put we'll put those in their own tank. Uh, form a spawning group of at least five animals. So we need at least five in the tank, and they're size four. Okay, so four times five. Quick maths. <laughs> we need a, a tank size of at least twenty. So. Let's go for, well, we we'll go for the Lagoon tank, right? That is size 32. Yeah, we'll, we'll put that there. They said the guests would actually get, t yeah, here we go. Look, someone's getting tired and they may need the toilet. I don't know if that's going to affect how many like research points we get. Uh, so I'm just going to wipe down a few benches. Just along the side here. And along this side here as well. And a toilet as well. I'll put one in the corner over here. And I'll put one in the corner over here as well. That should that should be sufficient, I reckon. So cardinal, uh, not cardinal tetras, blind cave tetras. Let's get those in. Uh, so we're gonna do five. Pause the game. So we need to fill this up with a lot of stuff. Um, yeah. So we need rocks. Uh, we'll get the old rocky overhang. Oh, hang on. The pitted column, actually. That's cool. I like that. Uh, let's get some more rocks in. It looks a bit nicer than... It looks a bit nicer than always just using the, um, the rocky overhang. Uh, so, yeah. Let's get more rocks in. Um, small rocks? No. Let's do... A flat slate. So that is that. Uh, let's get some filtration and stuff on it. Power combi. We'll go for that. Have we got all the food we need as well? Yeah, I think we have. I literally have not been paying attention to the food requirements. <laughs> but it looks like we're doing good. Oh, look at those. Bringing loads of points in. Loads of science points in. Loving it. Uh, let's have a look at their breeding requirements as well. Uh, so yeah, they just have to be in a group of five. Waiting for the right moment, all animals in a group breed simultaneously. 30% chance of breeding today. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, these guys, are they growing up yet? No, not yet. A couple of days they'll be growing up. So we've nearly, well we're not, we haven't nearly unlocked it, but... The Congo Tetra. I wonder if we should just start putting some more tanks down ready for the other guys. Uh, oh, the message which are generated when you breed some new spawn or hatch some eggs can be really helpful, but sometimes they just get in the way of the thing you're really focused on. Thankfully, you can switch off any you're not interested in. Awesome. Caleb has leveled up. Amazing, Caleb. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Yeah, look, there's loads, loads. They just keep spawning over here. Is this tank gonna fill up? I think we're gonna have enough space in there. <laughs> this is one of the, this is one of the worries I have about my fish tank is if they have babies, right? I can't really fit any more fish in the tank. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to buy another tank. So if they have the babies, I'm gonna have to move my fish into another tank. We just have to buy another tank. Going need more money. But luckily they haven't had babies yet. Luckily, I haven't had babies just yet. Um, also, I don't have room for another fish tank. 
I need, and I, I would love to get a, a, a salt water fish tank instead of a like I'd love to have one fresh water and one salt water a salt water tank 10 gallon tank with a couple of cl a clown fish in it and maybe one coral that would be that would be absolutely I'd love that literally would love that but uh, at the moment I don't have any room for it or money so it's all good <laughs> right are these guys doing anything over here oh we've unlocked that which is good let's do just unlock that anyway um, so yeah let's work some of these down oh my uh the mouse wheel on my mouse is very like weird it doesn't work properly most of the time uh they've grown yes they've grown hang on hang on this has got no f not enough filtration uh so let's put down another filter like that yeah that's done it absolutely fantastic uh, these guys are getting yeah they're, they're doing okay let's oh we've unlocked the Congo Tetra amazing and the Cardinal Tetra is next isn't it so let's put down the well let's finish this objective here the ecology poster thingy-majiggy which is I guess it's in this bit here right yeah ecology poster so we put well, let's put one over at this tank here. And then you connect it to the tank like that. There we go. The poster should ensure a steady stream of ecology. Remember to maximise the number of different species in the tank attached to the poster to maximise its point income. Uh, ecology posters will earn prestige too. Fantastic. All right, we're going to leave that there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, remember to press the like button. Any questions, suggestions, or comments, leave them down in the comment section below. If you do enjoy city building, simulation, and management games like this, be sure to subscribe. And also, uh, well, that's it. Stay safe, have fun, and I'll see you on the next one.